An easily sedated orange roofy? Ruffy? Um, found hovering outside Om Omicron substation, it had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. I'm sorry. I'm kind of tired. Keep swinging for a... Uh, Swinging, yeah, swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Darby and Waldeck identified it and uh, identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rubber fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvari can't shut up about. <coughs> wow. the, de the dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the arc team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign, or we're not going down there again without good reason. Please stop. Okay. So, hydrophonic. Whatever that is. Um... I feel like I just released something. Oh. That's another scan thing. Cleaner, whatever the hell it is. Is that the gel? Is this thing alive? I'm hearing something. Um, Structured gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modification... Listen to me, I'm trying to, jeez. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear a lot. Sh shut up, I'm trying to read. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 50 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened with it. Wow. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. E. Ames. I didn't read that one. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the, the animal. This has also proved us the ability to somewhat control it. The structured gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. 
it's still the same crosslink shell with. It's still the same crosslink gel with aligned graph graphene and a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller. The WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. So the WoW is like bad people. I know, I'm, tr I'm realizing that. <laughs> Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structured gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I know, I'm trying to get to that. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Is it this thing making the noise? I'm noticing too, I'm seeing like these very faint waves going down my screen, like on, in my uh, view as the character, and I think, I don't know, I think I don't know. So that's the black stuff that's been leaking. What the fuck? Oh no. brought it to life. It came back to life. Or something like it. Okay, uh, why did I bring it back to life? Can we kill it? Can we kill it? Why are we opening this? Makes me sad. I wanna, I wanna put out its misery. How the? F Is this the circuit? No. Oh, we already got the circuit. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna put you in there and try to forget about you. I'm sorry. Well, great. Uh, I guess this is what this is for. Or not.
weird. I'm confused. We need control ship service required. Never seen something of that speed. It's right. Is, do I need to like? It's too heavy. That's not gonna work. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. My brain's working now. That is a weird gel. I can't seem to close it. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, now I need the battery. Something bad is gonna happen now. Or that guy is gonna appear again. No foreign contaminants beyond this point. Does that include Canadians? And that so. Isn't that a brand of car? Hi. in the well. Okay, um... That was a clean room. We went that way. Maybe there's a battery in the laboratory? Oh my god. There's something over there. That is freaky. See. Those are weird looking cages.
So whatever the hell this thing is, I guess I'm feeding it somehow. <sighs> the hell I just shut down. Yeah, that kind of looks like a battery. Okay. Uh... Oh. What do you do? Oh, I'm up at oh. Something down below. Wait a minute. Is this like an elevator? Is this something I can use? I don't think I've been in here. find a battery. Oh jeez, I was like, why am I, why is that happening? Uh, 
I don't know where to find the battery. I'm just gonna go back. Uh, well, it's not in here. I don't think. It's gas. Have I been in maintenance yet? Ooh, I don't think I've been here before. This is probably where I'm gonna find the battery. I don't know why I still have my flashlight. Okay, maybe I do need my flashlight. I don't like the sound of that rumble. Containment. The fact it's called containment, I'm going to leave it. Well, shit. The hell was that sound? It sounded like I was in India for a second there. Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, I guess it isn't in here. Maybe it isn't containment. Oh, I see. There's an override for each one. Ah, I see. There's dust particles like just sitting there. They're not like really floating or moving around or anything. Alright, well this guy's head obviously exploded because of too much corn. Did I just did I just sit on his body or something? Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. To Linda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. 
and it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Delenda Est. That's her name, I guess. Hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. Hmm. It's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. Hmm. I can't bring myself to stop her. Oh, that must have been her. Oh. It's a lot of reading. September 13th. Uh, I think it's my mom's birthday. September 13th. I oh, know it's October, sorry. Um, on September 13th, Vic Eau Claire ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the, into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber plaf platform <coughs> for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tao. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down. Omega sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight. Until I heard screaming over the short range radio, it carried on breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Esp Espinosa. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tao and more specifically Ross as I heard es Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tau to their fate. Oh man, there's so much reading. Except for that one. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Hi. <laughs> uh, Claudia Ames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lamar probes. It's a good thing Golos Goloski is off site because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it as long as Ross is left alone to work to work with the WoW. Man. <clears throat> I must seriously need water or something right now. Where's that? That's her, I guess? Oops. All right. Oh. It looks like Okay. I'm sorry, but this genuinely looks like they took a picture of food. And tried to put it in the tray, but like I can tell that's Photoshop. The rest of it is fine, but I don't know. That's just kind of sad to me. But anyways. Okay, I'm defining this battery. Who knew finding a stupid battery would be so hard? I suppose power room. Battery creates power and it 
probably in there. There's another story. Don't see much. Oh, great. It's saving. Typically, that's not a good sign. Is that supposed to plug into something? What the f oh. It's you, right? I can't tell if it's him or there's something over there. Okay, there's something on the table over here. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's standing there. What the fuck? That almost looks like a human, but... Sounds insane. be getting startled.
That is weird. Oh, there's another one right here? Really? Okay, it's empty. Okay, Jesus. Finally, we have all we need. We can go back to wherever it is we were. And get the fuck out of here. This is not the place. Oh, man. Okay, this is not... I thought this was it. gonna happen or not maybe we'll see yeah that guy's gonna pop up again isn't he wait was it I can't remember where I left Catherine he's gonna pop up or that happens <laughs> Oh, you are? I actually got ch Jeez. <laughs> I got chills and gas. No, I, I got chills when the glass blew like that. It will follow me there. Clean room, laboratory. Is it through here? off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Ew. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Wait, is that what we are in the body we are now? It's just like a head and then the... Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from Doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. 
You lost me halfway there. Me too. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Whoa. Hey. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please have a seat. I have a bad feeling about Sorry this. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> that? No, I it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Hmm. I think I would. I only want one version of me. <laughs> It's weird. It's like I, I killed myself. It's like, it's sad. 